Hello and welcome to Sir Smuggler's Let's Play episode 29 of season 2. And today I'm going to continue with the rail project, of course, now that I finally got it going. So first off I'm going to craft a uh, item loader so we can fill up uh, that engine with uh, coal automatically. So a detector and a dispenser. I never remember how that's made but it's something like this. Ah, excellent. And uh, yeah, that's simple. Item loader. Thank you. So we're heading out to the rail and uh, yeah I've built uh, I've changed a little bit here but not much I prepared uh, where I want the item loader to go so I built a little uh, scaffolding here so right there and then I believe this one can uh, pull items from adjacent inventories so I'm gonna have a chest right there where I can fill up uh, coal and uh, just to be safe I'm gonna use this uh, micro bar filter options there to make sure that it will only fill up uh, the engine and nothing else the locomotive I keep say, uh, saying engine but I mean isn't that what it's called train engine I would think so and anyway, let's see we need a holding track right here and I'm not exactly sure if the item loader can uh, extend like the this guy here has this you see that arm coming down because it's actually one block between the two I don't know if the item loader has that but uh, I guess we'll find out hold still for a moment so I can link you like that and uh, let's uh, grab this and shout into this chest here and we'll see if it works that would almost be too easy wouldn't it here mm, I guess that doesn't work oh well I kind of want to have it one block up like this one because then you can like ride it uh, if I lower it I suspect uh, you will hit your head or ride it so well there's not much else I could do well I could go with an advanced loader and I could put it on the side or anything but uh, that just wouldn't look as good I think so yeah I'll try lowering this guy oops mm, yeah again the filter because I moved it and then we need to move the chest of course like 
also. Yeah, I don't like that. But what are you gonna do? Maybe I'll change to an advanced loader later, but right now that's gonna be gonna have to be okay. So It's uh, all about the testing right now anyway to see that the concept works. And if I were to push you back there, come on. That's better. Much better. Of course he's going the wrong way, but that's a minor problem. So I'm gonna sleep through the night and get back tomorrow and give this one a real test ride here to see that it that all the steps here works as intended. Okay, so I think I got it working now. I set this to S for supply mode. And then you can indicate here how much uh, coal you want it to try and keep in uh, the engine. So I set it to about two stacks. And uh, that's exactly what it's got. So if I were to remove that one, it will stop for a while and fill up. And when it's done, moving on. Perfect. So that's working as it should now. So I guess now all we need to do is uh, well hook it up the last piece here and uh, fix the liquid unloaders that are going to unload oil. But uh, since I haven't really gotten the pumps or anything set up on the other end of this uh, track here where the oil wells are so um, I guess that would be a good thing to start with next but uh, let's put that one in idle for a while and let's see is there anything else I want to take with me Let's just hook it up here and see how it looks. So this means when it comes down here it should go straight ahead and that means it's uh, doing things the opposite way around but that's okay, shouldn't matter. But this is not good because that, no, don't want that. So let's see if I that's better. So let's try this. And uh, actually let's try riding this thing and see if I'm right about getting hurt when we pass through that thing. So run. Oh, that worked fine. Excellent. And now it should continue up this uh, slope here. Perfect. So why don't we speed things up a bit and just enjoy the ride. Look at me. Oh, and uh, yeah, stop looking at me. That's uh, cutting it fairly close, I would say. So, hmm. let's see if we can actually turn this one around. I'm thinking he's already off the track. I don't know. And have him push me. Or wait. Uh, so right here is the 
forest. The oil. Yes, and some nice world holes. So we got oil, and we got more oil. And uh, that's better. So I will uh, construct pumps and stuff and uh, figure out how I want to plan this area here. As you can see we have a little way more to go on this railroad before we're all the way where we should be. Haha. <laughs> I love this. Dum de do. Running a train. So anyway, I'll be back with uh, a plan for that area now that we have the railroad working. And also, let's see how much water did we use? Not much at all. I was thinking maybe I needed to have some uh, water station along the way here, but uh, that's probably not necessary. It's not that far away actually. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so let's craft a few things we are going to need. We are going to need, well of course, um, pumps to get the oil out. So something like this, don't exactly remember but yeah, that gives me a mining well, which is the first step. Then we need some tanks for those and a couple extra for something else. So that should give me pumps to them. And I'm using two because, uh, well, there are two oil wells. I could. Uh, you know, pump up one at a time, but uh, let's go with that. So also I want to use redstone engines to power the pumps. And uh, let's see, like so. And we need, of course, uh, carts to transport the Um, okay, let's see. Tank cart. Oh, yeah, so the recipe for the tank cart has changed a bit. It uses the iron tank gauge from uh, Railcraft itself instead of the Billcraft tank. But well, that makes sense. So let's see, iron plates and glass paints. Iron plates, we can get that from our ruling machine. Let's just get that going. And it's dark. There's bad guys around, but I'm gonna take my chances. Uh, let's just that run and uh, what else we needed uh, yes glass panes so let's grab this that should be plenty and uh, yeah we got the cards we got that what else do I need I think we're pretty much done there actually so Go grab these plates. Come on. And yeah, of course, liquid loaders to get the oil into the carts. That's another thing. So let's see. Was it like this? No. Better. 
so that's plenty. And uh, now then, that's better. Two tank cards. So, for the liquid loaders, we're gonna need a couple of pressure plates. But you've seen all this before, so let me just finish up this crafting and I'll meet you back at the rail again. Okay, here we are. I uh, started to fence in this area here to make it a little bit more secure. So I'm probably going to build my refinery plant somewhere around here. Anyway, I uh, put up the train here, linked up the carts and... Uh, if this thing is working as I think it is, uh, it should not fill up water in these uh, tank carts, hopefully. So, and I think I got everything I need with me here. Which of course pretty much is a guarantee that I have forgotten something, but uh, oh well. Let's... Uh, Give this train a little push here. Just so we get it started. Come on, just a little bit more. That's right. And let me step right in and let's set this one to running and uh, start off a little bit slow. So here goes. Well, yeah, it hasn't warmed up yet. It was just uh, the track they're sending us forward a little bit. That's better. Fill up some coal. And the camera is being crazy. How about that? And I'm also going to make a anchor cart so uh, it will automatically load any chunks that the train travels through. Uh, that way I don't need to have all the chunks all along the railroad uh, loaded all the time. And of course this is just uh, the medium speed, we can boost it considerably. I like it. Of course though we should uh, stop before we fall off. Actually, let's shut it down while I'm working here. So I'm still not 100% sure how I want to do this but I cleared up, uh, cut down some of the trees here and uh, so I got some nice flat area to work with. So I think I'm gonna start setting up the pumps and uh, lay down the foundation here and uh, actually I think I'm gonna do that uh, off camera and uh, between episodes because uh, I think this is a pretty good closing up point for this episode. So rail project def definitely moving forward and uh, we are closer than ever to actually bringing back some oil to the base. So thank you for watching and I hope you want to come back and see the finale of this uh, railroad here. So I hope I see you again. So until next time, bye bye.